Welcome back, everybody, for another AoE 4 campaign. Last time we finished the Normans, the English campaign. And now we're going to be moving on to Joan of Arc, the French, and the Hundred Years War campaign. So the last uh, Norman scenario was in 1217, and we're going to be jumping ahead around 130-something years to, uh, well, to 30. Um, so yeah. This is going to be the beginnings, though, of the Hundred Years' War. Joan of Arc isn't going to be coming in until around 1418 to 1420, something around there, if I recall correctly. So she's not going to be joining the party until much, much later on. So this is going to be giving maybe uh, a little bit of a different perspective to like, how the war started. Um, but I, I don't know anything about this campaign. This is, just, this is all just me guessing. So we're going to have Chivalry as the first chapter in 1351, The Combat of the Thirty. England's king waged war for his claim to France in the midst of violent raids and devastating battles. One tournament of champions would uphold the values of chivalry. When stables working 40% faster. In 1350, what we know as the idyllic French countryside was a living hell. For more than 15 years, the people had suffered at the hands of English invaders. Little did they know that this war would last for another hundred years. But through this crucible of fighting, famine and plague, there would emerge the modern nation of France. England's king, Edward III, looked jealously across the English Channel. He is not a happy-looking dude. Wanting France for his own, he had added the fleur-de-lis, the symbol of France, to his own royal standard. This was an all-out declaration of war. And in 1337, he invaded. But France already had a king. Philippe VI. As the English burned their way across the land, Philippe's army and his legendary knights marched to meet them and came face to face with the English longbow. A simple weapon, but the most devastating the knights had ever faced. The heroes of France fell to storms of English arrows. The war engulfed the French countryside. By 1351, the conflict was focused on Brittany. One fight stands out as a spectacular display of chivalry and a symbol of the wider conflict between the two enemy nations. The combat of the Thirty is still commemorated here in Brittany. It was a dispute between two local families. Supported by the opposing sides in the war, the French and English commanders decided to settle it through a trial of knightly combat. Each side would choose 30 champions to fight on neutral ground. France prepared to defend itself against England's finest. Where oui, were? Oui. For France. The French captain Jean de Beaumanoir would enlist 30 great fighters to defend France's claim to Brittany. On the opposing side, England's fiercest champions represented their king. The two sides would clash in an arena of chivalric combat. By the way, in case you did not know, Ornlu here took. Uh, Four years of high school French, including AP French. So clearly, all of my pronunciations are going to be 100% accurate. Totally. Uh-huh. Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. 30 champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the Halfway Oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. 
I wonder why 30 was the number chosen. It just seems kind of arbitrary, right? Recruit uh, champions to combat the English. No, champions are an AoE too. As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. It says I'm a, an infantry unit, even though I'm on horseback. Okay, this increases our uh, attack speed. But, like, we move slow as heck. Um, yeah. We, we can have attack speed and stuff. Sorry, Ornlua Wolf. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll use the freaking ability. Sir Olivier Errol. Spearman healing. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany okay. and brought great hardship to the people. Okay, so this was already a little bit interesting. It's it's actually more like an RPG scenario. Uh, here you're at. Okay, oh, fine, I'll heal. So yeah, we're going to be playing as the French in this campaign, who are another very easy civilization like English. Sir Guy de Rochefort. Sunder demoralizes... Uh, at least decreasing their melee armor, okay? Oh my god, you're stuck! Well, I lost one dude. Well, hopefully this is enough. I can't freaking see this stuff. Wait. French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Sir Jean's party. Oh my god, he's on 1 HP. Okay, heal everyone on up. Unfortunately, like, all of their icons are the same. Alright, whatever. Let's go uh, get another one. Alright, I was kind of hoping that the Norman campaign would be a bit more on the, uh, like... It would be super easy and straightforward just because it was sort of like the intro campaign, and now we're going to be getting to things that are a bit more intricate. And this already seems to be at least uh, a little bit more. Sir Jean's search next brought him to Sir Geoffroy Dubois, whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. Charge! All right. So what do you do? The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. Oh my God! I can't. <sighs> I, forgot I, have to, I have to use their abilities, otherwise that thing won't go away. The English longbowmen fell, but the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks. Oh, I can use all of their abilities. Oh, actually, that's really handy. I was thinking I had to click on the individual unit. Okay, that's actually really handy. It's still really hard to control everything. Alright. And... We're good. Oh, I lied. We're not good. Oh, crap. That guy's gonna die, isn't he? Ah!
Just use all the abilities. All the abilities. Oh, dang, there was another one over there. Uh, we're gonna win this, right? Wait, how is the outpost not defended? Wait. What? Okay. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Oh my god. So I think I was being a little too um, cautious with my ability usage. Like, I just need to be spamming those things on cooldown. All right. Let's go get As some champs. Himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Man, this guy is slow. Go get him! Companion! Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the Thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. So Alrighty. Sean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. Okay, just use that one and that one. So is the healing thing... Okay, the healing thing works even if we're in combat, unlike most uh, healing abilities in AoE 4. Oh, crap. Yeah, we'll just do a better job of utilizing them in this, uh, this attempt. Oh, this guy has an axe. That's cool. Why is everything dying so slowly? <laughs> Okay. The French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Sir Jean's party. Heal ourselves up. It seems like we get a burst of healing, and then we get some healing over time. It's like we're playing a Diablo or something. Sir Jean's search next brought him to Sir Geoffroy Dubois, whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. Okay. Beat feet. The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. Go get him! But the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks. Get the um, bonus. Heal. 
Yeah, I don't really need to use the movement speed one right now. Oh wait, I totally lost a guy. Oh my god. It's it's hard to see. <laughs> In my defense. Okay. Decrease the enemy armor. Heal. Man, that's a lot of them. Seriously? Like, that's a lot of them, man. Well, wait, I haven't, I haven't lost everyone yet. Maybe we need to, like, go to another place first or something. Because, like, we have to fend a lot of waves of enemy dudes. It's like, the other two were super easy, and then that one is, like, insanely hard for some reason. It's like you have to f defeat, like, I don't know, maybe 10 units. And then it's like, okay, now I defeat, like, 30. Alright, we got it this time. As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Or something. Sorry, Wolfie brothers. Maybe we're supposed to go to this one first. Nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. Sir Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. Let's go get them! Get our attack speed, decrease their melee armor. It's so hard to control units. Yeah, we're, we count as an infantry, not a cavalry. Probably just to keep them alive easier against spearmen. I mean, I'm honestly fine with him taking damage, because we can always just revive him. Wait, holy crap, these guys are, like, why are they dying so slowly? The French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Okay, that's the halfway oak. Um. Looking to secure his honor, a young knight held his ground on a bridge in Sir Jean's path. Wait, why? Win a duel. Well, it seems like we win this quite easily. I wonder if this works for me. Not at all. So literally, it's impossible for us to lose this. Okay, it increases the armor. Honorably conceding defeat in the duel. 
officer Yves Charel joined the cause. Okay, well, he's only one dude, but the armor ability is likely going to prove to be very useful. You guys want to help out? Makes sense, right? Because then we'll have the entire line here. To Sir Geoffroy Dubois, whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. Yes, I, I know his ability, dude. Game. Oh my god, shut up! I don't need the armor yet. The English longbowmen fell, but the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks. Just get all the abilities. 17 armor, oh my god. That's one way to win easily. God, why? Okay, our abilities are almost off cooldown. Spam abilities. I don't see how this is worth it, honestly. <laughs> oh my god, he's stuck. Well, congrats, me. With Sir Geoffroy by his side, Sir Jean had secured the outpost. I got, I guess, one night out of it, but I lost a lot of my, uh, my infantry dudes. Well, let's go to the halfway oak. I don't know if it's halfway between somewhere, somewhere or if it's just half an oak. The world may never know. Wait a minute. I only have 10 dudes. How am I supposed to defeat 30? <laughs> So Jean entered the staging area for the tournament, where Wait, he what? prepared to choose which knights would join him in battle. Okay, so we can go with German mercenaries. Be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. So. Who are the English? Oh, these are the English. Oh, and now we select the two champions we want. Oh. Okay, so they got Spearmen Mercenaries that are uh, Landsknecht. So we're going to want... Um, we're going to want the Knight. Oh, no, because they have Spearmen. Um, I feel like healing is going to be good. And which one does this guy do? 
This one does armor reduction, and this one does armor gain. Oh, we have to. Oh, we just select them here. Well, I mean, he gives us spearmen, which isn't that useful. Let's get eaves. Oh, okay, we get a bunch of them. And... Uh... I don't know. Like, a spearman would just be so bad, even if the healing ability is really good. So Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat. Okay. Round one of two, defeat the English soldiers. We're going to give ourselves a bunch of armor and decrease their armor. Oh yeah, the armor one is so good. We got 17 armor there for a second. <laughs> wait, I didn't think... Oh wait, no, he's our hero, dude. Wait, what? The French were at a disadvantage following the first round, but they would use the break to strengthen their forces. Reinforce units and research technology. Okay, so we got healed up. Well, that's literally the only thing we can do. So, yeah. <laughs> there really wasn't a lot of uh, choice there. Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights return to the arena for another round of combat. The combat of the Thirty was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. Oh, did I lose one of my heroes? Oh, that's not good. Well, nothing for it but to go for it. Gotta use our abilities and just hope for the best. Just gotta use... Let's try this one more time. All right, select champions to fight the English. Each knight would be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. I mean... I feel like we definitely want this one. Nine men at arms. Oh, five men at arms, four spearmen, nine spearmen, four royal knights, and five horsemen. Let's try the cavalry. 
Sir Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat. Okay. Trying to flank them from behind. Uh, is this going better? The healing one isn't as good as I thought, simply because we get healed in between round. Z. Or I don't know. Oh. The French champions left the arena to recover their strength. Well, I guess uh, the cavalry was definitely the way to go. Again, I can still only research this one technology. <laughs> Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights return to the arena. For another round of combat. I guess, like, the cavalry one is the, the best one. Was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. Yeah, the cavalry one's the best one. It's just you have to, you know, work to get it, right? Like, that's the hardest one to get. I mean, that makes sense. Bring the cavalry around. Just spam our abilities. And this should be easy peasy. Well, that went much better. Huzzah! Triumphant. Sir Jean de Beaumanoir and his loyal knights claimed victory. The combat of the Thirty had decided control of Brittany in favor of the French. Little did the two sides know, this was just the beginning of a bitter war that would outlive them all. Huzzah! Okay, well that one, um... Clearly, I, uh, I didn't do too well on, but, uh, well, we got her done in the end. It was at least more interesting than, like, the Norman ones. Even if, like, I don't know. It's very, uh... Well, either you win or you don't. Okay, the French champions defeated the English and Brittany and remained under French control. Yeah. Alright, guys. That was... 1351 the 30 and next up will be the siege of paris in 1360 with the black prince see you guys next time